You're entirely bonkers. But I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. Welcome back to How to Sailing. Thank you so much for joining once again. These videos are made possible by my patrons as well as my coffee supporters. So a giant, giant thank you to them as well as my channel subscribers. In today's video, we're going to discuss different parts of a sailing vessel. You'd be surprised at how many people have no idea what the names of parts of their sailing vessel even are. So let's get right to it. Here's the diagram going over all of the different parts of a sailing vessel we're going to go over today. If by the end of this video, you can name each and every one of these, you have a fantastic shot at acing your ASA 101 course, as most of the ASA 101 course is all terminology and being able to identify different parts of a sailing vessel. If you are brand new to sailing, I do recommend taking the American Sailing Association classes. In the description below, I do have all the textbooks required for completing up to your ASA 103. Once you complete your ASA 103, you are able to skipper and captain your own vessel above 35 feet. Perfect for any type of liveaboard sailing full time. Name the part of the sailboat labeled A. The vertical section at the rear of the boat is known as the transom. Transoms are an integral part of a sailboat's hull. They also happen to be a very useful mounting point for all kinds of different equipment. Some modern sailboats have a fold-down transom that can also act as a swim platform or waterfront dining area as well as making access into and out of the water much, much easier. Name the part of the sailboat labeled B. Stanchions. What are stanchions? They're vertical poles located around the perimeter of a sailboat and are used for installing lifelines around the boat's deck to keep people safe. Name the part of the sailboat labeled C. The deck. On a boat or ship, the primary upper deck is the horizontal structure that forms the roof of the hull, strengthening and serving as a primary working surface. Name the part of the sailboat labeled D. This is called the helm, tiller, or wheel. A helm, tiller, or wheel is used for steering the sailboat. Name the part of the sailboat labeled E. Rudder. Sailboats steer by means of the rudder, a vertical blade-like appendage mounted either on the transom, the flat surface of the stern, or under the boat. In both cases, the rudder works by deflecting water flow. When the helmsman, the person steering, turns the rudder, the water strikes it with increased force on one side, decreased force on the other. The rudder moves in the direction of the lower pressure. As the rudder goes, so does the stern, and the boat turns. After hull integrity, rudder integrity is the most vital component of a seaworthy vessel, yet most sailors pay more attention to LED lighting or smartphone apps than they do their boat's rudder. Name the part of the sailboat labeled F. This is called the bow. It is the forward part of the hull, the point that is most forward when the vessel is underway. Name the part of the sailboat labeled G.
Lifeline. The lifeline is the link between the sailor and his boat and is the point of attachment to the harness lanyard when moving around the deck. This is to keep you from flying off the deck while underway. Name the part of the sailboat labeled H. The stern. The stern is the back or aft most part of the sailing vessel. Name the part of the sailboat labeled I. The cockpit. A cockpit is a name for the location of controls of a vessel, while traditionally an open well in the deck of a boat outside any deck house or cabin. In modern boats, they may refer to an enclosed area. Smaller boats typically have an aft cockpit towards the stern of the boat, whereas larger vessels may provide a center cockpit with greater protection from the weather. On a recreational sailboat, the cockpit is considered the most safe external location for the crew. Name the part of the sailboat labeled J. Push pit. A push pit is a plain tubular structure wherein you may stand without fear of toppling overboard. Name the part of the sailboat labeled K. The hull. A hull is the watertight body of a sailing vessel. In tomorrow's video, we'll be going over all of the names of the different rigging components on a sailing vessel. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, these are all brought to you by my patrons as well as my coffee supporters. If you do enjoy the videos and find you are learning, please consider becoming a patron. It's less than the price of Netflix, and it's like having a captain on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You do get access to our members only area where I'm live, available to chat every single day. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.